And we join you now from inside Terrapin, which has been named the best red scent restaurant in the Hudson Valley. We're joined by chef and owner Josh Croner, who's going to help us prepare a special wedding edition of Chef on a Shoestring. We figure if Chelsea Clinton's wedding is going to cost reportedly in the millions of dollars, we're going to bump up our Chef on a Shoestring I've, budget to $80 I've for you. I've the, <laughs> the figures and... The wedding itself has obviously been quite the spectacle. That uh, has. Our catering business itself, we do have two weddings this weekend, none of which is the actual Chelsea, but we do have a Chelsea and Michael that are getting See? married. See, so, so you have a so Chelsea wedding. It's we perfect. We do, we do. And you have some great tips you're going to go through. Give us an idea, some of the foods that we're going to cook Well, I want to feature a lot of the bounty of the Hudson Valley. I mean, one of the great things about this area that made the Clintons decide on this, I mean, we have so much that grows and is mm -hmm. produced up here. Some of the things that I'm going to do, we have uh, a, a peach, uh, <laughs> grilled peaches with uh, on top of... With a little, is yeah, that a little camembert in there? Yeah. Some shrimp? The garlicky shrimp. We've got a uh, rollatini of red pepper, some tuna tartare, and some onion tartlets. I'm going to finish off with our main course, which is going to be a Hudson Valley duck breast. Which I've got looks, some... Which looks fantastic, and I know one of the one of the folks in our party had the duck here last night and said it was delicious. Yeah, so it was let's, great that you guys had the opportunity to dine at my facility. It was I, a great I, dinner, I, and we appreciate it, especially <laughs> since we're camping out in your yeah, restaurant this morning. So walk great. us walk us through some of these dishes. We can help okay, the folks at home make them. Okay, let's start with the shrimp. So this is all of these dishes are quick and easy, and that's we kind of what that. I'm try, trying to focus on for this thing. All we got to do, take a little oil here. Yeah. That's one hot pan. Yes, it is. See. I can feel the heat. <laughs> now I'm gonna watch out. In go the shrimp. So and what's nice is they cook up so quickly. Nice flames. Woo! Fancy here at Terrapin. Now, as you always want to do, season with salt and pepper. Okay. And that's once we've already put them in. Yeah, you could do it on the plate beforehand. Okay. But, you know, either way. Either Long way they works. Get seasoned. Do you need these? I will be using okay. them. Okay. Yeah. I'm standing by with the tongs ready. So we're just tossing these, a little bit of salt and pepper. What else are we going to do to season them? Uh, we've got some garlic. Okay. Add a little bit more oil here. So coming up the garlic. So I got some garlic Minced in there. Minced garlic. Now you want to be careful not to get it too okay. black. As you can see, the pan's extremely hot. Right. So I'm going to try to work quickly here, not to burn the garlic. Because burnt garlic is going to give you... Not the flavor that you're going for. So I'm going to go straight into... Is that a little, little soy sauce? Berry. More flames. Woo! Flames are good. I don't know. I got a lot of hairspray on. They may not be good. <laughs> <laughs> this is an ancho chili pepper. Oh, I love a little there. spice. A little spice. And some honey, too, because there's going to be some bitterness from the garlic. So that'll even it out a little bit. So as you move that around a little bit, I'm going to try some of the ones that you made earlier. Give a little taste test here. There we go. Mmm. How's that? It's great. It's nice to have that little bit of a little bit of heat and then the yeah, honey so really does There's a lot of color nicely. here, but that's nice. You know, you want the color, you just want to make sure you don't get the garlic black. I love black it. Garlic better. Help us make the uh, the goat cheese because I want to make sure that we get um, a little bit of the duck in too. So you've so just let me slice let up the red pepper me. here. I'm happy to help. This. And what I want to do is we're gonna add in the egg. Goat cheese. So egg, where do I see egg? Are we where missing it? Oh there it is. Where do is we this see it? No. The egg one. If we had some egg, we, we had would put egg, it in yeah, the dish right now. It would now. be going in. But, but we also uh, have No, we're going to put that basil? on at the end. Yeah. Some Those fresh are basil. actually fresh basil and tarragon. We've got oregano here. And once again, we're going to season with salt and pepper. Okay. Where's that missing egg? There we go. Okay, so if we had the egg, don't worry. I want to make sure we get to everything yeah, here. Yeah, use this. So we mix this up. You can use up. this to stir it and up. And then is this a roasted pepper, like a jarred red roasted pepper? Or is that... No, these are actually fresh, fresh roasted pepper. peppers. Okay. But you know, if you're going to do this at home, it actually saves a lot of steps if you're just going to take a jarred roasted pepper. You just want to have strips that are about this big. Now just spread it on there. Okay. You can use the spoon if you'd like. Throughout the whole length here? Yeah, or just, just a little bit it. like that is enough. Now, and we roll it up, and then how, am I, how are we cooking this? What we're going to do is we're going to take an oven, maybe preheat it to about 400 degrees. Yeah. Now turn that one. Here's oh, our there's egg. our egg. There's the egg if we need it. We'll throw it in just, just in for, case. <laughs> just to show you that it actually go. does go in there. I'm just getting a cue, actually. We're a little short on time, so just tell me really quickly about the duck, because this is sort of the... Okay, so the duck... Now, one thing about duck that's very difficult to do... Now, with, this is with duck breast. You need to score the skin. It's extremely... Score the skin. Extremely important, because 
the skin on the duck is delicious. Okay. It's one of the best parts of the duck. But the fat underneath, people don't want. So what you want to do is you're going to run a knife, very sharp knife, yep. in a scoring pattern like this, being careful not to cut into the duck breast. Okay, only into the fat layer. So like that. Both ways. Careful not to cut your fingers. Exactly, too, that's key. Very bad. Once again, salt and pepper. And we're going to put this right on a hot pan. And as you put that in there, we're going to bring in some of our guests who've made the trip because right. they want to enjoy this fine wedding feast as well. So we cook this in a little bit of oil? Yes. Well, you don't need to cook it in any oil no, at all. The fat because itself? Because the fat itself will prevent it from sticking. Now, this is going to render slowly. You want this on a low flame. And then right at the end, you just flip it over at the so end. So flip it. So just the other side right at the end. And we have a now, beautiful have one a, that's I have a finished coming one out that's, that's coming done. in. I'm going to take a little bite too while we're here. We're bringing our guests and everybody who's made the trip up from New York. A lot of people getting in the car at 2 o'clock this morning to come up and join us this morning in Rhinebeck, which we so appreciate. I appreciate you now, hosting us here at Terrafin as well. Uh, Clinton Vineyards Cassis is going to finish it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to deglaze it so that we get the alcohol out of it and put in a little so alcohol. So as you deglaze that, we're going to take a look at this beautiful picture. Instead of cake, you have some great cupcakes for us, which all comes to a lovely wedding feast. We'll take a look at what you did in terms of a budget right now. If we could maybe take a look at home as the chef deglazes here so that's and we're just ready a little to go. Glaze. It's not a sauce so much as a glaze. You just want to put a little bit on top. And it looks it really looks beautiful. Josh Croner, thanks for having us here this morning. Thanks for cooking Thank for you, us Eric, as well. Thank you, Eric, for having me.